This is my Steam Deck and the display is extended to my TV which is running AutoCAD. So basically my Steam Deck is now my new mini PC. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So I always wanted to own a ultra slim portable PC that could run AutoCAD because I have a company of my own that provides professional floor planning service that is actually drafted by AutoCAD. So day one, the quest started when I discovered a brilliant device called Sony Bio P laptop. Uh, but for some reason, after I discovered this device, uh, within a year, they have discontinued the model for some reason that I don't know. So I actually have quiet down the quest until three or four months ago, I discovered this fantastic gaming console called Steam Deck that is apparently can play most of the latest PC games. So my logic started, hmm, surely if it can play most of the latest game, it is powerful enough to install Windows, which a lot of YouTubers have actually shared that is possible. But surely on top of that, it will be able to run AutoCAD as well, which ha I have succeeded a few days ago. I'm really delighted to share this with you. So let's go on to the stage of how I achieved this. So number one, you have to probably get the mid-range Steam Deck model because it actually says on the website, it is a faster storage option, which I understood it as it could transfer files much quicker than the cheapest version. So that's why I got the mid-range, which also has the internal memory of 256 gigabyte, which I think is pretty good. So number two, I'll definitely recommend you guys to get a Steam Deck friendly docking station. So this one actually has one HDMI slot and three uh, USB port on the backhand side, which also supports the power of Steam Deck, which I actually got from Amazon. So number three, I'll definitely recommend you guys to get a good performing micro SD card. I've done a bit of a research online and apparently Samsung's micro SD cards works really well on Steam Deck. So I decided to get a half ter terabyte memory micro SD card, which is the same internal memory of the gaming laptop I have, which I felt like I don't really lack on the internal memory. So that's pretty good. So number four is that if you don't own a Bluetooth keyboard, I definitely recommend you to get one because um, you can actually plug in on the back side of the USB port, but I just don't like the messy wire bit. But this one, I actually bought it from Amazon, which is actually foldable and very compact indeed. Now, only downside of this is that uh, I have discovered so far is that I do press a lot of ESCs, but to be able to perform that on this specific keyboard, is that you have to press the function to be able to perform the ESC. Otherwise, it will be turning up with a different function. But the cool thing about this uh, keyboard is that not only it's cheap, it's slim, foldable and so on, but it also comes with the mouse pad as well. So I got this from Amazon for about uh, 30 or 40 quid again. So number five is that if you want to make the Steam Deck set um, as portable as possible, I would definitely recommend you to get one of the slimmest mouse that is available in the market. Now, fortunately, I already owned uh, the Logitech Ultra Slim Mouse for more than 10 years. And um, this is pretty good actually, but when it comes to using AutoCAD, I just still cannot figure out how I could do the pad scrolling, which is like, a hand and then moving around drawings and so on. So unfortunately, I decided to go back to the original um, mouse that actually has multi-function, which is perfect solution for AutoCAD. But if you do not need AutoCAD and you actually like to use it for basic function that does not need pad scrolling, I would definitely recommend to stick with the uh, ultra slim mouse. So additional option six is that if you do use a lot of Zoom meeting on your working environment, I would definitely recommend getting one of these webcam. This is actually from uh, Jellycomb, which is a fantastic company. So it's a USB plug. You actually plug into your Steam Deck docking station on the back, and then you basically clip onto your Steam Deck. So you're pretty much good to go. So in the process of trying to install Windows onto my Steam Deck, I had a major hiccup because 
the Rufus software, which allows the Windows ISO to be converted into Windows Go format, cannot recognize my micro SD card, which was plugged into my default uh, micro SD card slot on my laptop. So I had to actually get the alternative um, USB memory card, which only has 128 gigabytes, trying to figure out whether it actually works or not. Um, and it does. So in, a, in the end, I actually installed the Windows to core format on my uh, USB memory card. But what I discovered through this whole process is that this memory card USB has to be slotted into your Steam Deck uh, docking station to be able to run Windows. In other words, Steam Deck cannot open up Windows uh, without the docking station, which really sucks. So I had to really figure out how I can install the Windows to go format onto my original Samsung micro SD card, which is a half terabyte. The, so the solution was to get one of these uh, micro SD card to USB converter device, which is from a company called Baykel, which is available on Amazon for very cheap price. So you just need to slot into your, this to your laptop while your micro SD card is actually plugged in. And successfully, uh, Rufus managed to read it and then convert it to Windows to go format. Now, for thanks to all of this effort, I actually can open up the uh, Windows on my Steam Deck uh, without the docking station. Because Steam Deck screen itself is too tiny, I would definitely recommend you to actually get a HDMI cable to plug into your uh, TV or a bigger monitor. So we've got a really good display here. So let me just show you how it actually performs on my uh, this extended display with the AutoCAD. So you could actually zoom in, zoom out um, without any delay whatsoever. You could actually see that this is a soft seater with some screens um, and also these are the desk and um, yeah, they are pretty good actually, no lagging whatsoever and it's pretty good and unfortunately again, I have to use my original mouse because of the padding um, scrolling that I actually have here. But if you don't actually need the padding scroll um, most of the time, but sometimes you do, you can always go for the right click and then click on the pad and then to be able to move it around. But um, I actually do need a quick reaction on that one. So there you go. And again, you have to press the function and then ESC to be able to come out of that function. And then, yeah, you could actually definitely use CAD. I mean, for example, if you want to draw a line, there's no delay whatsoever with this. And also if I want to do, um, like again, the ESC, you have to press that. So we've got some very odd red line here and um, yeah, if you want to put some circle, by all means, that's all good to go. So yeah, the AutoCAD seems to work perfectly well. Now, one of the biggest advantages of having an extended display with a huge screen and a Bluetooth connected keyboard and a mouse is that you can always fold your keyboard, take it with you, walk away where you can sit down with a professional desk and a CETA, and then you could still run the AutoCAD, which I'm actually literally three meters away from the screen, and it works pretty well. That's really good indeed. I'm really pleased with that. That is so professional. So I'm absolutely pleased with the way how it turned out with Steam Deck. Now this has officially become my secondary ultra portable PC. So I could also play one of the most latest fancier games on my way to work. But at the same time, once in my office, I got the docking station installed already with me so I could plug it into my docking station and use it for my office work purpose, for my business and so on. I guess my original gaming PC see the heavier one I could actually place it on my home and use it for video editing rendering and etc but for the office use secondary PC uh, Steam Deck will do very well indeed so I hope this video uh, answered your query regards to whether it can run AutoCAD or any of the Windows related software but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJB Tech all the best bye bye